<laughs> so you're finally back here in the wind column. How does that feel for you? Uh, I, feel, I feel very, very uh, emotional. Uh, I'm happy that this win, uh, all my game plan, all my game plan uh, lose perfect in the fight. And, and I'm very happy. <laughs> You had a huge highlight reel slam there in the fight. Uh, How did uh, that feel, like really landing that? Did you feel in full control? Uh, yeah, I feel full control. I am grab uh, my opponent and I slap him in the, in the cage. And uh, I, feel, I feel really, really, really happy for this happen. And uh, I'm dominating every round, like my game plan. Uh, in my last fight, I want to like finish the fight. And in this fight, I want to like... Uh, go over there and go really, really slow. Win round for round, minute for minute, and and happens. And and I'm I'm very I'm very happy. So you're saying you don't think you fought as intelligently against Mizugaki? You just went out there to brawl, and this time you yeah. took a different approach. Yeah, I think I think I'm I'm born. Where I'm I'm uh, I learned a lot. The my last fight, uh, I don't wanna. I, and now I don't wanna go over there, and and I wanna I, I'm trying to finish the fight, and now I wanna go and fight smart, uh, step for step. I think my last fight I'm learning a lot, and uh, and then now in this fight uh, I'm fighting really really smart, and I'm fight I'm I'm fight when my game plan all, all, all the time. So and thank thank God everything good. With the UFC's desire to expand into Mexico more, certainly your name comes up a lot. How do you feel about the pressure knowing that you're a name they'd like to build and your fan base there would certainly like to see you do well? Uh, every time I feel a lot of pressure because I'm the only Mexican Mexican fighter. For this pressure, is uh, uh, this pressure is good for me because always I'm training really really hard in the gym. Always, I wanna, I wanna grow up more. Always, I wanna, I wanna uh, do something for, 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 for myself, for the people. See, I'm, I'm better every time in the fights. I noticed that you asked John Wayne Parr, who is a Muay Thai legend, to walk uh, you to the stage yeah. for the weigh-ins. How did you uh, get to know him, and why did you want him to go uh, with you? Uh, when I was young, uh, when I was 14 years old, I started training Muay Thai. So I see all the time uh, the movies, the young Wayne Parr. I see all, all the time in K1 fights. So in Mexico, John Wayne Parr, and I, I think in, in all, all, the, all the planet, John Wayne Parr is a legend. And it's, it's a legend for me. So John Wayne Parr walk around with me to the ways. It's like you, I'm, I'm walking around with one legend, you know. And I'll be, I'll be, I be I wanna be a legend like John Wayne Parr when I will when and uh, and more and uh, when I will go old. <laughs> Eh, traté todo de llevarlo eh, a mi game plan, eh, todo lo que entrené. Eh, la última pelea aprendí mucho y aprendí a no desesperarme tanto. Aprendí a llevarme todo eh, tranquilo y, y gracias a Dios salí con la mano en alto, que eso es lo que venía. Nos veremos en México peleando. UFC, <laughs> 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 to México. <laughs> sí, quiero ir a México, eso es mi, mi mayor... Mi mayor sueño, pelear en la liga número uno de todo el mundo, en mi, en mi país, con toda mi gente, ese sería mi orgullo más grande, pelear allá. Lo siento, pero en inglés, <laughs> you're saying that the UFC is the number one and that you really want to It's like my dream, fight in my, in my, in my country, is my dream, fight in the number one, uh, and number one uh, UFC in Mexico is like, it's my dream. I want to fight in Mexico. I want to go over there and uh, fight with all my peoples. Yeah, thank you. Damien, um, the, the infection that you had before your last fight, uh, do you feel that you're fully healed from that in this uh, fight now and that that kind of maybe hindered you in the fight before? Uh, no, uh, the infection just a teen, uh, like the infection, uh, it, uh, I don't fight for like six months and I think this is affecting me because I want to like fight and fight and fight. I want to train for fight and the infection just put me like, 
like no training for two months and it's a lot of time for me. Right now I'm going to Mexico, uh, I'm going and rest for one week and come back to training again hard because in my next fight I want another Goyito, I want to go over there and the people see I'm, I'm better, every, better fighter every time I'm fighting. So who's your favorite uh, luchador or lucha libre? Who's your uh, favorite lucha libre? I have a lot of, a lot of uh, El Santo, you know, in Mexico. El Santo is like make movies over there, Blue Demon and Octagon. Octagon is like, is like kind of like karate guy and uh, do a lot of stuff. When I was younger, Octagon is my, my favorite fight. And, and, and now I'm fighting one Octagon, so it's... Crazy role. <laughs> anybody from Bellator or excuse me, anybody from TNA or WWE? Uh, Rey Mysterio, you know, Rey Mysterio is uh, the, the first, the first wrestling the WWE, and uh, when the mass. So I think Rey Mysterio is he, he, he's, he, he's good, good, good luchador guy. Thank you. Thank you.